you who you with. Better stick to the script. It's in your DNA to be up in the mix. It's in your DNA to be up in the mix. The mix. Okay, guys. So street versus commercial. Street. Street. Street, cause commercial borrows our stuff anyway. And being, I don't think, I don't think they borrow. I don't think they borrow. So you say they steal. Listen, it. without without the streets, there's no industry. How about that? Mm. Not necessarily. Is that right? Okay. What would you consider commercial dances? Uh, the commercial dances I would consider to be the ones without no foundation. No foundation. They like born in the studio. They birthed in there. But that's a foundation of some sort. Yeah, and not every uh, commercial dancer is born in the studios. Some people are just really good at picking up things, you know what I'm saying, and looking a certain way behind the camera. Uh, when you talk about street dancers, they're really good at impressing a crowd and as well as, uh, you know, using their energy to overcome another dancer, you know what I'm saying, in the streets. But a commercial person, they could gravitate a crowd through this little square that we call a camera, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get they get promo better on, on, on platforms. Like they're more they're more I guess suitable. So so are. so from a commercial aspect, would you say more so it's about the look? It can be. It could be it could be it could be how how well you pack or present what you can do. Cause I feel like, you know, a lot of street dancers they have trouble finding a way to package themselves. Which is true, I believe You know that. what I'm saying? So that's the, that's the big thing when it comes to commercial, is being able to, from the time that you get behind the camera, you show your confidence, you show your ability to gravitate and, and pull a crowd without even trying. So what about the street dancers who do do that on an everyday basis? They don't, they have, they don't, have, they don't have the right people watching them. You know what I mean? So that's why they won't get put on a certain platform because nobody's. You like, street dancers need to do better. <laughs> Would I consider it like selling out, like the phrase selling out? No. Uh, that's no. Nice. Why? Because. Well, from going from street to commercial? For one, you want to make sure you take care of your livelihood. Let's just really put that out there. Everybody out here should be out here working. Because without work, you'll be a poor person. Just in, in whatever. Let's just say materialistically, because money is a, a piece of paper. But what is selling out? like? What is selling out? You saying, yo, my foundation doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with what these people say and do what these people do and just totally forget where I came from and who I am. I think that's the point that people need to understand. The who I am, when that disappears, it becomes an issue. Yeah, Some different. people, they leave, they leave. Brooklyn, and they never reference where they're from. They don't reference something they might have been on that put them in the limelight anyway, like a show or whatever. Um, they just forget about who they really are. They don't reference. They don't come back. I feel like that's more selling out. I don't feel like transferring over. But wait, 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 wait. But yeah, what if, what if, what if they never had the, not even just a platform, what if nobody addressed <clears> them with the right questions of, who, what, where, when, and how. But then you also have to keep in mind, like, there's some people that when they when they were growing up or learning in a certain crowd, these people never gravitated to them with open arms at all. So right. when they got the opportunity and they skyrocketed, now the people like, yo, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't say nothing about Brooklyn? Because Brooklyn But that never sounds like a personal vendetta then. But, but then it happens. But then, but is that person selling out though? But I understand that. But at the same time, why should you, overall put like this? If if the landscape of where you came from is more important than the people who treated you grimy, why you not? Why you not interpreting and letting it be known the landscape where you came from? I don't remember the landscape hurting you. Mm. Your if, problem is with people. If you don't reference it at all, like if you was from Flex. And you never mentioned flex ever to me. You a sellout, and that's just even from people from my generation looking up. I'm like, yo, I never seen this person. It's never this person. Well, never now check this out. XYZ but, for me, so now, not to know. cut you off, but here, but this is where I say now, where in 2018 we have more media than ever. Like you talk about on every four corners of the spectrum of the game, there's media everywhere. But ask yourself how many how many times a day are dancers being interviewed. 
Right. How many times are dancers being sit down and put at the forefront to say, yo, what is it? Where did you come from? What did what you do? You? How did you get here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me, let's just say as a group collectively, let's thumbs up on this, that the mix is here. Right. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, now we get to put that out into the world that dancers are coming from somewhere and they need to talk about these things because other medias are not talking about this because more so when it comes to media we're mostly considered about who's the face of the whole movement right. versus who's really pushing this movement and who's really responsible so let's take that into consideration but if you're a dancer who has had that platform and just not talk about nothing at all hmm. So can a street dancer like cross over and still keeps its like raw essence? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I think it's mandatory you should. Yeah. You got I think it's um, mandatory. It's you mandatory. got Mark, right? He's a, he's a choreographer. He done been on um so many shows, the Grammys, like he's been on a lot of stuff. Toured with uh Usher, Britney Spears. Yeah. I seen a solo a solo video of him. He still got it. Still busting his brug up. Still got his his crawl, his wave, everything. Like he still have it. He ain't lose nothing. So I don't I don't feel like him crossing over change. Now watch this essence. now. It's not about you losing, but have you upgraded? That's another thing. Can you be him? We gonna find <laughs> out on the battle fest on. stage. Listen, the back <laughs> roll ain't enough. Smoky, boy. The back roll ain't enough for me, Donnie. Let's really let's really get down to it. We could only find out. He could he could still package some, it in a different way though. But son, granted, he, and I'm not mad at has, that. He has a lot of I'm different not, things I'm that he can I'm not mad at how you package it. What you do? Step, bro. I'm no. not. But that's but that's what makes the great street dancers who they are. Right. When they never miss a step mm -hmm. and still could deliver on an industry level, that's versus right. yo, you're just straight industry and you come to a street dance situation and it turns into yo, what the hell? Ain't nobody impressed by that. Yo, go on about your business. If you would like your highlight of your dance video to be shown on the mix, just hashtag the mix dance, and we're just gonna choose which one we prefer on our show. And there you go. <laughs> mix, 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 the mix, mix, mix. Don't get caught up in the mix, 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 the mix, mix. Mix, don't get caught up in the mix. On the road to being rich, hey, they will make a flip. They be watching who you with, better stick to the script. It's in your DNA to be up in the mix.